Hello, we are talking templates in this week's video, looking at how you can make Microsoft Word's formatting features work for you. So a lot of the clients that I work with, um, either we are writing their book or they're writing a book for the first time. And one of the things that crops up all the time with both types of clients is that they have been thinking about this book for a really long time. So a lot of times over five or 10 or even more years, they have been putting notes into documents just whenever they think of it. What happens is that then they've got all the different types of fonts, you know, the font that they were that they preferred 10 years ago, the font that was on their last computer they were using, um, random stuff, whatever the font on Google Docs, just all kinds of stuff. Well, here's what I want you to ask yourself when you see a document like that, that has all the different fonts, all the different sizes, does that say to you that an expert wrote it or does that say something kind of thrown together? I think most of us would would not think of an expert when our formatting is all over the place. Well, here's the thing. There is such a simple fix to this. And if as you are getting ready to write, you put a template together, then every single time you go to work on that document, you can be sure that your formatting is going to match what you have done down the line. When you put everything into your book, it's all set up, you are consistent, it's gonna look so much nicer, and that is gonna give you the confidence to move forward and make steady momentum. Okay, so how do we do this? What you're gonna do is you're gonna put together your template. So I opened just a regular Microsoft Word document, and I have put in the various things that you are gonna need to program into styles that are just the basic things everybody needs. I've got my chapter title, I've got my heading two, that'll be my main subhead, and then I've got my heading three, that's gonna be the sub subhead. You might not need this, uh, but it's nice to have it just in case you do. And then I have my normal, just my normal text, how I just want most of the text from my um, document to look. So we're actually gonna start with our text. I, I like books to be in Times New Roman. I've got nothing against Calibri. You do you, but whichever font you want to use, you're going to take your, um, <coughs> take your text that you've put here, change to the font you want to use and the size you want to use. And then I would also highly suggest making this double space. That just is the industry standard. It's just the norm. The other thing that I want you to do is go up to your, uh, paragraph format, format, paragraph, and if you can do a special indent of just a first line indent, all of your document is going to have that lovely just half inch tab over without you having to sometimes manually do it, sometimes words adding it just all over the place. So that uh, those are the things you want to do. Put your font, choose double space, and then your first line indent. Okay, now here is where the magic starts to happen. Um, this is our text, and we're going to call that normal. So Word is basing most things off of our normal template. So under normal, choose the drop down, choose update to match selection, and look what happened. So this is what's going to happen in your document too. Everything that you had not assigned a different style to is now going to follow that normal template. That's great, right? But we probably want different formatting for some of these different things. So for our chapter title, we um, I want it to be, let's say we want it centered. I actually don't always do that, but let's say we want it centered. Let's put it at 18 font. And the other thing I wanna do is again, I'm gonna go into my paragraph here. I want this to move about a third of the way down the page. You've seen this, certainly you've seen this in printed books, um, but this is also just a really nice touch to make your manuscript look more professional. We're gonna just say spacing before 200 point. That's just gonna move it down the page. And we don't actually want um, an indent for this, right? We want it to be actually centered. So let's push okay. All right, that is what we want it to look like. I know it always looks a little jarring at first, but this is what we want it to look like. So now we need to go in and we need to tell Microsoft Word, this is what we want for heading one. We've done this already, update to match selection. Okay, so I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these the way that I want them formatted. I'll be right back. All right, I am back and you can see that I have updated my heading one 
two and three. And then of course my normal font is also updated. So you can also see that this put it also up into my toolbar up here. So I can really easily assign things. Um, for example, I'll just get, kind of give you a sense. If I decide this is heading three, I decide that to just be a regular subheading. I can just assign it. You can see it centers it, all of that, etc. But now what I want to show you is how you can use this very easily when you're putting your new chapters together. So to make this into a template, I'm actually going to delete everything. Now I know, why did we just go through all that trouble if we're just gonna delete it? But what we needed was to have it programmed over here. So it's, it's, that's done. So we're gonna delete it because we want to be able to start with just a blank slate with our slug up here. So I'm going to now go to file and I'm gonna save as template. Now you can see it's gonna open up my template folder. You can save it there if you want to. I find it way easier to find my template back when I just save it with my normal files. So I'm gonna put it on the desktop in this case. Um, you'll see next week why, but for now, uh, yeah, we'll put it on the desktop and I'm just gonna call it TNR Times New Roman template. You can see it's gonna save it as template. Okay. So now I'm gonna close this out. You can see my screen recorder here. Um, now, and by the way, you can, when I open now, um, or when I go to make a new document, I can go to this template here. If I open that, now it has made me, this is document five, this is a new document, but all of my formatting is how it should be. So let's say I'm gonna start a new chapter. I choose heading one, look it formats it, woohoo! And I'll say chapter one. It's automatically gonna assume, by the way, that I'm going to normal next. That is what I'm doing, actually. So I can put in my text when I'm ready for a subhead. I'm gonna tell it it's a subhead. Again, it's gonna go back to normal, et cetera, et cetera. And so on. I've got my, uh, my header shows up automatically. So if I start a document from this template, I know I've got that header. I know it's gonna be consistent. Essentially what you are doing is just taking the guesswork, taking the memory out of having to remember every single time how you wanted to format your chapters. Once you get done, it doesn't matter how many documents you've got, you are gonna know they're all consistent. And as I'll show you next week, even if you mess up and you're not as consistent as you want it to be, as long as your chapter title is heading one, your subhead is heading two, your sub subheads, if you've got them, are heading three, and your other text is your normal font, you can change it in a snap. So even if you change your mind, you don't want Times New Roman, you can so easily change this font, but you've gotta be working with the template. So I know you're gonna love this process. Um, I know it is so fun if you are a formatting nerd like me, uh, but let me know if you have any questions. I know this can be a little bit of a learning curve and I am more than happy to help you figure out how to use templates to make your documents look so much more professional. So happy writing, happy editing, happy formatting, and I'll talk to you soon.